All right, we're going to meet a pair of uh, confiscate babies right here. That uh, plea came out. Uh, they were abandoned, uh, left with no food, water, shelter, tethered um, up against a fence. Poor things. But they're actually in, I mean, first of all, they're super, super social. I'll tell you right now, these are two of the most social creatures you'll ever meet. The moment I went to their uh, kennels in, in Eval at DD25 and DD26, they were up, jumping at the kennels, couldn't wait for company, couldn't wait to come outside, and they at least have had a beautiful afternoon with each other together. So we got a boy and a girl. So the boy is this gorgeous, handsome fellow right here. I'm calling him a one-year-old bulldog mix. He is 1662624. Again, confiscated on 118. And he is heartworm negative. Awesome. He's all 41 pounds. They're saying a little bit of dermatitis. I'm trying to see where I if I notice any. I mean, maybe I'll, yeah, see, maybe a little bit. Come here, baby. Oh, you can call on a leash. A little bit on the back leg, tiny bit. But I, they are, these guys are all over me. Um, other than that, no major missing hair. Really good shape. Good body weight. I mean, he's not, they, you know, could they use a couple pounds? I'm not really. I mean, look at that. He's got a beautiful body weight. This one, a little bit skinny. Okay, so that's our girl. That's our boy. And our girl is only seven months old. She's 1662625. Again, came in on 11.8. She is not spayed. He's not neutered. And um, she is all of, they're saying, uh, 28 pounds. So we got 41 pounds, 28 pounds. She's also, thank God, heartworm negative. So we got two great dogs. Now, we had them out here for hours. We did a temp test with him. Not, and, it's, and we didn't mean to not do one with her, but we had a specific dog that we wanted to attempt us with, and we were asked to do it with a male. So since these both guys were so friendly out here, we picked him, and he did a great temp test um, with another dog, and we'll share that temp test, but let's just say it was great. Um, it was with our girl, uh, China, and he is, um, you know, he was just all over, and, and, and China was fine, but there was, it's a lovely temp test. So he obviously likes dogs. He just comes out, he's very forward, whereas China's real shy, but she's coming out of her shell and doing so wonderful. So we just wanna get a plea on these. I mean, I don't really know why they wouldn't go into adoptions, but as you know, we don't do real well. We don't get a lot of luck with our confiscate dogs for some reason. So their plea is up, their uh, uh, appeal period is up on November 22nd. That is 18, 19, 20, 21. That's uh, next Friday. Okay, so they've got one more week here. So on next Friday, the 22nd, the owner um, who lost the court case has the 10 days to appeal it, which is up next Friday, 11 22nd. After that, they are free to go uh, into adoptions, rescue, foster, um, or unfortunately euthanasia as well. But there's no reason because these guys are at, look at that beautiful face, they're just lovely. Now, they can be fostered earlier. That's the great thing about that appeal period. They can be fostered earlier. So if anybody's interested, hi, sweet boy. If anybody's interested, they can be fostered right now. If you can, please keep them together. They love each other. Um, thank you. Do you want to treat a man? I know he's, he's like desperate for treats. They figured out, come here. They figured out my stash pocket. I know, come here. I know, I'll give you a treat. But show everybody that you have some manners. Come here, look here, sit down. I know you did sit earlier. Give me a sit. Give me a sit. Oh, there's one. Sorry, I dropped one. So now I got to give the sister one. Okay, love their treats. All right, guys, we'll give you, oh yeah, we named them Sluggo and Nancy. Nancy and Sluggo. So we'll send a plea out for them so they all can be prepared when their time is up on the 22nd. Bye, babies.